Hello, Chorbians. Welcome to my dungeon. No, I'm just kidding. I'm in my garage. Um, <laughs> but so obviously, uh, here in North Texas, we're expecting. There we go. We're expecting a bit of a storm popping up here over the weekend and early next week. And so I just want to give you a couple of quick tips uh, for how you can prepare yourself for that. Um, as far as your grass is concerned, um, there's probably not a lot you can do about it. If you've been on a lawn care program with us, then we've already put down over the last couple of treatments, things to help winterize your yard and protect it as best we can against cold temperatures. One of the other things that you really want to make sure that you do is you want to come over to your handy dandy uh, sprinkler box like mine here and turn that bad boy off and make sure it says off up here. That way, if we do that, that'll make sure that you don't have any issues with sprinklers coming on when it's 20 degrees outside and potentially breaking either the lines or the sprinkler heads are the most likely thing that'll get broke. Um, we also don't want, if we can prevent it, a ton of accumulation of ice on your grass. What Mother Nature puts there, there's nothing you can do about it, but obviously watering your yard right before it freezes. And then if, you know, you get traffic, people walk on it, or, you know, you'll, you'll crunch and break that grass and expose it to, to the elements. So um, the other thing that we always recommend that you do is, of course, make sure that your grass has been left tall. That's one thing that we've advised in the past, but if your grass is tall, it's gonna help you a lot with uh, helping it weather the storm. When your grass goes dormant and when it's a brown color like this, it's asleep. Basically, it's in a kind of a hibernative state. The part that's alive is right near the, the soil. It's the crown of your grass, and that's the part that's sleeping and is still alive. And so you can pack snow and, and ice and things like that on top of the grass. It's not gonna hurt it a whole lot. Another thing that you can do as well is throw some burlap or in a pinch, uh, garbage bags, plastic over your plants if you're expecting freezing precipitation or really, really cold temperatures. It'll help insulate them. It, it, it'll give them a better chance to survive, um, keeping the, the moisture off the, the leaves so they don't get that freezer burn. And that's about all there really is to it. Um, Check out my guy, Jeff. He's a plumber here with Chorby. He's done a lot of videos on how to protect your, how, your home specifically with uh, winterizing pipes and covering up uh, things so they don't break. Um, and beyond that, uh, stay safe. Don't take any chances if the roads are slick or icy. Try to stay home if you can, and hopefully we'll all make it through this thing together. So uh, once again, my name's David with Chorby out here in Fort Worth, and we want your family to stay safe and we want to help you as best we can to take care of the things that matter most to you. So uh, y'all have a great day and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.